The Buckhorn community comes together to help a high school sophomore as she battles cancer. And former President Donald Trump was back at a New York City courtroom today for day two of a civil fraud trial against him. Plus, we stay mild for now, but some chilly air is on the way by this weekend. Those details coming up as Mountain News First at Four continues. Mountain News First at Four continues. The Buckhorn community in Perry County is rallying around one of their own students who is fighting cancer. Buckhorn sophomore Lila Wooten was diagnosed with a rare aggressive medullary thyroid cancer in April. Tomorrow begins treatment at the Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. Her principal, Jen Day, says they are beyond proud of her strength and always Buckhorn strong. She's so positive and encouraging for everybody. Even though, you know, she's facing a tough situation, she's strong. She's so strong. And we know she's going to pull through this. And, and the support that she's been getting, not just from our school, but from our whole district and our community around, everyone has reached out and are praying for her and sending good thoughts her way. Tomorrow, October 4th, is Lila Day. Perry County school leaders are asking everyone to wear purple for Lila as she begins her first day of treatment. Kentucky State Police will be watching closely for unsafe driving behaviors today through Thursday. They are calling it Operation Safe Drive. KSB will be cracking down on dangerous interstate driving behaviors such as speeding, distracted driving, and not wearing a seatbelt. They will also target drivers who may be under the influence. Inspectors will also have scale facilities open. Awesome weather continues across the mountains into your Tuesday afternoon. We're dry under plenty of blue sky. Also some mild weather as well. Here's a live look from the London Corbin Airport. Nothing but blue sky back in the distance. And if you're a fan of the warm weather, up to 84 degrees at the airport right now over in London at 85 in Manchester, 83 for Jackson and 80 over in Pikeville at this hour. So we are above average and more above average weather is on the way as we go into your Wednesday. All thanks to high pressure just off to the east of us. That means we stay dry, also comfortable into tonight before more dry and mild weather on Wednesday. But notice back to the west, we are tracking this weather system over portions of Kansas, also Nebraska. And we do have some severe weather off to the west of us. Now, no severe weather for us, but we are tracking an increase in those rain chances by late Thursday, also into your Friday. Once we get through that weather system, a decrease in those temperatures on the way by this weekend. We see highs back in the 50s and 60s, lows back in the upper 30s and lower 40s. So some chillier air on the way as we get into this weekend. All those details, plus your full seven day forecast on the way in just a few minutes. Steve. All right, thank you, Cameron. A New York judge has just issued a limited gag order on former President Donald Trump after he reportedly disparaged a key court staffer during his civil business fraud trial. Trump was back in the New York courtroom for day two of the $250 million civil fraud trial against him, his eldest sons, and Trump Organization executives. During a break in the proceedings, the former president told reporters he intends to testify at some point during the trial. Mr. Trump, will you be testifying? Yes, I will. At the appropriate time, I will be. Uh, I think it's going very well. Everybody was given financial statements. The financial statements are extremely strong. The assets are much more valuable as opposed to less valuable than are in the statements. Trump is on the witness list for both the state as well as for his own defense. His longtime accountant took the stand today. Jury selection began today in the high-profile case against the founder of a failed cryptocurrency exchange. Sam Bankman-Fried has pleaded not guilty to seven counts of fraud and conspiracy. He is also accused of money laundering. CBS's Michael George has more on that from New York. The attorney for Sam Bankman Freed arrived at the federal courthouse in New York Tuesday as the judge began the day questioning potential jurors. The 31-year-old sat at the top of the cryptocurrency industry when there was a frenzy for digital currencies during the pandemic. But prosecutors say he embezzled billions from FTX customers for personal use, risky investments, and campaign contributions. Right now, this looks like the biggest fraud in history after Bernie Madoff. 
The former billionaire is accused of moving massive sums of money from FTX to his hedge fund, Alameda Research, to prop each other up. When FTX investors tried to cash out, they couldn't. Bankman Freed was asked about the FTX collapse at a conference last November. Were you truthful with us today? I, I was as truthful as, as I, as, you know, I'm knowledgeable to be. There's, there's, there's some things I wish I knew more about. Bankman Freed has admitted making poor decisions. His lawyers are expected to argue he did not deliberately steal anyone's money. Tuesday, the judge told Bankman Freed it would ultimately be up to him whether he testifies in his own defense. The trial is expected to last up to six weeks. Michael George, CBS News.